All right, well, hello there and welcome, fans, to another episode of 162 Times, your daily baseball recap and preview show. I'm your host, Daniel Turner. Great to be with you, uh, bringing you the action from the Mariners and Yankees um, in the first game of a three-game series being played in Seattle um, that has uh, massive implications for the Mariners' playoff futures. This is episode 151, so we are basically into the final. We're almost in the final 10 games here, folks. Mariners had a great weekend series against the Rangers where they won three out of four. The Astros lost their first game on Monday to the Padres. So the Mariners are poised to, if they can keep winning, get back in the hunt here. Nothing is said and done just yet. Um, but unfortunately, last night, the Mariners got thumped 11-2 to by the Yankees at home. The Yanks moved to 88-63 and with the win. Mariners dropped to 77-74. and It was Luis Heal. Uh, with the victory, 14 and six now, 3.14 ERA. He's great. Brian Wu took the loss, eight and three, 2.85 ERA. Not a great game for him. And Marcus Stroman got a save coming out of the pen now, his first of the year, 4.04 ERA. Yankees had 12 hits for 11 runs. Mariners had nine hits for two runs. They also committed two errors. Um, Brian Wu went four and two thirds, nine hits, seven runs. They were all earned, one walk, seven Ks, and two homers in the loss. Heel went five innings, four hits, one run, one earned, three walks, five Ks, and a homer. Uh, Meza, Tim Meza, former Blue Jay, threw the sixth inning, uh, just one walk and one K for him. Stroman went three innings, five hits, one run, three Ks, and a homer given up, nine Ks from for Yankees pitching on the evening. Out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Austin Voth got beat up. One inning, one hit, three runs, two walks. Diaz, I'm not sure I'm from, oh, that must be Jonathan Diaz. Jonathan Diaz, two two innings and a third, one hit, one walk, one K. Excellent work. Then Rivas, uh, Leo Rivas, position player, one inning, one hit, one run. Uh, not a super proud night for the Mariners. They were 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position and left 11 on base. So that's why the nine hits didn't translate into anything more than two runs. That's disappointing. Yankees were 5 for 12 with runners in scoring position. They left seven on base. Uh, Rayleigh, Rojas, and Rosarena left runners in scoring position with two outs. That's annoying. And in terms of your scoring, well, top of one, uh, Aaron Judge, his 35th double of the year, scored Glaber Torres and Juan Soto, 2 nothing. Then top two, Judge singling in Alex Verdugo and Glaber Torres, 4 nothing. Bottom of two, so four four ribbies for Judge after two innings. Not, not great. Polanco got one back with his 15th of the year in the bottom of the second to make it 4-1. But Juan Soto got his 40th homer of the year with Glaber Torres on base in the top of the fourth, 6-1 Seattle. So... Six RBI for Judge and Soto after four innings is not going to help. Top five, Jason Dominguez, his first of the year solo shot, made it 7-1. to one. Austin Wells in the sixth doubled in Alex Verdugo, Juan Soto, and Aaron Judge with the bases loaded to make it 10-1 and really break the game open. That was against both. Top of eight, Luke Rayleigh got his 21st of the year on a fly ball to center field to make it 10-2. to two. But Oswaldo Cabrera singled in Jazz Chisholm in the top of the ninth to finalize an 11-2 to two scoreline. Tough sledding for the Amps. Out-of-town scoreboard. So, on Tuesday, September 16th, 17th, San Francisco Giants hung a 10 spot on the Orioles. 10 nothing Doesn't really impact the wild card in the American League. The Twins beat the Guardians 4-1. That's disappointing. The Reds beat the Braves 6-5. The Marlins beat the Dodgers 11-9. The Rays beat the Red Sox 8-3. The Mets beat the Nationals 10-1. The Tigers beat the Royals 3-1. The Athletics beat the Cubs 4-3. The Phils beat the Brewers 5-1. The Cardinals beat the Pirates 3-1. The Rangers beat the Blue Jays 13-8. The Diamondbacks lost 8-2 to the Rockies. The Angels beat the White Sox 5-0. And unfortunately, the Astros beat the Padres 4-3 in 10 so the Mariners lost ground to both the Angels, I mean, sorry, both the Astros, the Twins, and the Tigers, which is really disappointing. So going into tonight's tilt, uh, the Mariners are five games back in the division and three games back in the wild card with 11 to play. That's a lot of ground to make up. And they sit uh, a game and a half behind the, the Tigers in terms of chasing the Twins. So they've got to p- catch the Tigers and the Twins. That's the easiest path to victory or make up five against the Astros. So let's tee up, um, obviously, game uh, two of this Yankees Mariners series coming to you today, Wednesday night. Um, so it's going to be Nasty Nestor Cortez, the left-hander, who's 9-10 and 10 with the 3.9 ERA against Bryce Big Tex Miller, the righty, who's 11-8 and 8 with a 3.12 ERA. Um, 
tough, tough contest for the Mariners to go up against this outstanding Yankees lineup. Lineups are not out yet, but we'll be definitely watching this game with great interest this evening at 9.40 p.m. Eastern Time from T-Mobile Park in Seattle, Washington. We hope you will, too. Thanks for listening. Thanks for getting caught up with us. Bye-bye.